Uh, okay, Friday. Uh, these are my pickups for today. Uh, whatever you see here, according to my sheet of what I spent as I was going to each sale, it came out to uh, $83. All right. Uh, I'm just going to try and go through it quick. Um, after this video, uh, if you like, I, I will include clips of me going through and looking at random yard sales, um, stuff I bought, stuff I didn't uh, buy, some random conversations. If that interests you, it will be at the end of this video after you see what I did wind up buying today and, and uh, generally what I paid for this stuff. Okay, I'll start with the toys. For $4, I don't know, the $3, I got that jacket, but I'll show that later. Uh, same yard sale. This was an Asian household. Um, I got, um, these are kind of beat up. Let me see. But they are Power Ranger, Mega Force, uh, walkie talkies. Oh, I see. They put stickers on it, so it's not really beat up. I can take those stickers off with lighter fluid if I so decide. I probably won't because it's too much work, and I'm sure these won't be worth more than like five to eight dollars. Um, you got this thing. The only thing I can figure is it's a Hellraiser ball. I don't know if you guys remember the movies Hellraisers, a uh, Hellraiser. Uh, about this these demon dudes that if you uh, messed around and you kind of worked the ball it would open up and and then uh, the gate of hell would uh, that's what it looks like it's probably just like a Baku con kind of, I really have no clue what it is but uh, I the reason I say that was because I was like futzing with it and pulling on things and moving my hands around in different ways like running it here and there and stuff and I couldn't get it to open so uh, if you know what it is tell me fine you know uh, this looks like a transformer yeah, it's, it's a transformer, a small one. And then I got this large uh, transformer. Only $4 for everything. I don't know if he's complete or whatever. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the transformer, so I don't know which particular transformer this is. Uh, but again, oh, it was only $4 for everything. Okay, I've been picking up, you know, I'll do perfumes next. This was $3. And this was like cheap. They go Estee Lauder's Pleasure. Estee Lauder's a good name. So for $4, I got uh, a bath and shower gel, gel, body lotion, and a Pleasures perfume. This has got to be a $30 one. I just had this. I, I always forget exactly what they're worth, but Estee Lauder is always good. It was only $3. But then they had other perfumes. What was the other? Oh, yeah. And um, this one, I bought these two for $14. And it's funny. I'm like, well, how much is this one? And the lady's like, this is a Versace Yellow Diamond. Um, I don't always like buying brand new perfumes because I worry that they're not authentic. And it's funny, the lady's like, well, this is a hundred dollar perfume, so you can have it for eight. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so I'm like, okay, fine, I'll buy it. You know, it it's, it's certainly worth rolling the dice. Online, it probably sells 30 bucks or something like that. You know, even though these new perfumes, they get these uh, people that, that, that deal in perfumes and they sell them ridiculously cheap online. Uh, and this one is an Organza. And uh, who's the maker? Whatever. I, you know, fourteen dollars. I really don't care. It's not a lot of money to uh, when you're buying perfumes like that. Perfumes are very expensive. So if I put them on eBay for like uh, twenty bucks, twenty-five, thirty, whatever, I'll be making some money and whatever. Um, this is milk glass. I always get mixed up. Uh, I don't believe it's Fenton. I believe it's it's the other one uh, that makes stuff that looks like this. But it's old. It's painted. It has flowers. If it was newer, it, oh, no. Okay, it's Westmoreland. Uh, that's the name I couldn't think of right now. But as you can see, there's like a W in a circle. So it's Westmoreland. It's vintage. It's painted. Uh, I don't remember what we paid for. It was it was dollars. You know, it was less than five. I'm sure of that. I'm going to put that in my showcase. Uh, I'm not even going to make it expensive. I might make it 12 to $15 at most. Uh, same yard sale. You know what? I'm an adventurous guy. So uh, this is... It's lavender ex elixir for adventurous cocktails and sophisticated sodas. And it's handcrafted from real flowers. So, I don't know. Why not? See if I can get drunk from flowers. Uh, well, I know I have to make some alcohol in it, but I'll, I'll be drunk and, and smell f uh, floral. Um, this is an Elfwoman Fechtman and Company upholstery goods uh, uh, ruler. <coughs> well, I forget what they call it. Yardstick. That's what it is. Um, bought for a friend who collects those. Uh, whenever we see him for a dollar or so, we pick him up. And uh, she ha actually has a yardstick collection. Don't know why she she's attracted to yardsticks, but we buy them for her and we give them to her and she likes them all the time. All right. This is an alpaca. Uh, probably 
it's it's not sterling. It's probably a very low grade silver uh, cigarette box. Cedar line. Whenever you see a box of cedar line, that would generally mean it was meant to hold cigarettes. Plus, it's cigarette length. You know, the old cigarettes probably without the filters. Uh, very beautiful. It has abalone shell all around it. I don't see any pieces mixing missing. Again, I will stick this in my showcase. I paid seven dollars for it. I will probably keep it under twenty dollars. I don't think it's very special uh, in terms of value-wise. And I need stuff like that for the showcase that I can put in cheap. I would even put it in for fifteen. I don't, you know, it's like if I get something cheap, that's what I'm going to do with the showcase. I want to. I want people to come there. Here's some some uh, French lighters at the same sale. Again, they're a buck a piece. So a lighter like this. Oh look, it's electric. The lights go off. Isn't that? I don't know if you can see it there. See the flashing lights? Okay, probably needs lighter fluid. And she had two of those. And then she had these. These have a little bit of wear to them, but they were a dollar a piece, so. Look, again, the lights go off, kind of neat. Assuming they all need lighter fluid. So they all do the same thing. Uh, they look slightly different. Buck a piece, I don't know, it's just goofy stuff. I'll probably take one of them. Like the cleanest, nicest looking one, and I'll stick it in the showcase for ten bucks, and I'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll be up four dollars. Um, this is an odd item, and it probably was meant to be arranged like so. But these these are coasters, uh, pretty neat, huh? They're just heavy lucite coasters in chrome, so seventies, so eighties. Um, I will probably. I only paid. A dollar for the stack, same sale. That I was buying stuff. This was just a dollar. I'm like, fine, I'll take it. If I put this, I'll put this in my showcase between ten and twenty dollars, depending on. Uh, I'll do a little research. You know, it's kind of cool. And if I sell it, even at ten dollars, I'm up nine dollars. Um, wood duck, not signed. Better if they're signed. But this one was only fifty cents, so I can sell it to anybody who just likes these kind of things for decoration around their house or something I could sell it the, the the sign wood ones could be worth 50 60 70 100 200 depends on on who did it 20 at least uh, one like this unsigned kind of nice if I get five to ten dollars that's fine I don't care because it only paid 50 cents even at five dollars that's uh, ten times my profit uh, these are quarter piece and I think what I'll do with these is just look inside and make sure they're not beat to hell. And if they aren't, since they are Marvel superhero, I will probably just put them as a group. And uh, they originally sold for a dollar, and they're 2010. They're not even old, but I'll put them as a group, and I'll probably sell them for let's see, 25 cents each. I'll probably sell them for like five dollars for all of them or something like that. I paid a dollar fifty for all, you know. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. If they're not beat up, I'll you know I'll put them in my booth and I'll put between five and ten dollars for them, and we'll see what happens. <sighs> this could be old. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to tell. That's it's been repainted, so that's usually something, and and the paint looks old. That's usually a sign of age. Flathead screw. Phillips head would make it newer. Uh, it's basically a lion-shaped coin bank. Um, I think it's old. And look at that weird screw. So I guess it was meant to display this way. Whatever. <sighs> Values all over the place on stuff like this. If it if it had a maker's name, that'd be great. But I'm imagining this is worth thirty-five, whatever. I paid. Uh, I believe I paid a dollar for it. So I will put it anywhere from ten to thirty dollars in my showcase, depending on on what I feel it's worth. And since I don't have anything into it, I don't care. I got these little uh, walkie talkies. Every time I see these cheap, I'm gonna pick them up. They don't always work, but these are nice, really small ones. These work out really great when you're uh, at flea markets, so you don't have to use a phone or, or yard sales or um, conventions, say like uh, phone service is limited or sucks. Uh, one person has this, the other person has it. Nobody uses these anymore. We used to go to flea markets before everybody had cell phones and everybody had walkie talkies because it would be hey come over here i got this and that uh, but now everybody has cell phones they use a cell phone so it's actually better now because what used to happen with the walkie talkies was everybody was on the same channel and you're getting like all this cross come to aisle 10 okay i'll be right there no not you i i'm talking to my wife oh sorry <laughs> um, but these actually come in handy i use these at conventions sometimes when <coughs> i'm getting crappy cell phone uh, reception uh daryl this for you 
<clears throat> five bucks for this whole grouping. Um, these are VHC compact, uh, <coughs> excuse me, video uh, tapes for recording video. And uh, what's this? And then there's some more cassette tapes. I know you like that stuff. Here, there's here's another one of VHC. You can lot these if you want. Sometimes the best ones to get are the metal ones. But if I ever see them sealed, I have a, like say here's a lot of three. Now I know they're not they're sealed and these aren't metal, but they're still good. They're still useful and people beside yourself want them. And then here, this is like a double pack of super high grade VHC. And here's another one. So it looks like you can do two. This is two. This is a, uh, a random one. Mix that in. And here's two more. Max, actually, Maxell, whatever. General use. This is uh, gold. Premium high grade, not metal. Though. All right. Enough on that. Oh, and also it came in this. Oh, wait. There's even, are there even? No. Those are already in there. And it comes in this nifty uh, boom box kind of uh, tote bag. All right, uh, this was only $6. I couldn't find anything wrong with it. This is like an Amberina basket. Uh, I don't know who made it. It has some age, uh, but this color is generally 70s. It's kind of a pattern design. There's like fruit, and I guess that's like a waffle design, whatever. Um, six bucks. I will put this in that showcase I have in the 15 to $20 range. Keep it cheap and just sell it. I, I've, I don't even like buying these generally. I take them to the flea market because I always snap the handles off. Uh, but a big, chunky, huge piece of glass like that, if I keep it cheap, it'll sell. And I don't care about this kind of stuff. This is a random kind of stuff I can generally find at house and yard sales for not a lot of money. Okay, moving on. Finishing up with the jewelry. Um, I don't think my wife sp spent a lot on anything today. In terms of jewelry, I, I think she paid nine dollars for this assortment of jewelry. These are sterling silver, lovely. Uh, I, I forget the name. It's kind of a cornucopia, kind of a flowery-looking thing. I don't really know. Um, this is, I believe, agate with a sterling clasp. Nine dollars for all of it. And then these are pretty cool. These are like, I, I, I think they're lucite, made to look like abalone shell earrings they feel very plasticky they don't feel like abalone abalone is weird it peels and whatever um they have an iridescence to them uh, might have bought those for the kid random barbie shoes they were in something left over i think she paid 20 for the jewelry here but um oops this is missing some rhinestones but this is mark trafari at pat penny um this would be a jelly belly i don't know if anybody knows what jelly bellies are but they have these round clear or color clear um lucite plastic i think um tummies so uh this one's here i'm gonna hold it i'll put it there oops that's a glass it's a bird in flight um these can run a lot of money but this has condition problems so she paid 20 for everything uh i'm not worried about it you know at 20 oops at 20 oops drop my glasses give me a second they, you know how things fall and then they fall underneath stuff and then they're hard to get well that just happened to me it's like I couldn't just fall land on the floor where I can randomly just pick it up with great ease no it it fell and then somehow managed to bounce and roll underneath something and, I, and that was what all that noise was about anyway uh, marcasite sterling so you can easily get like 8 to 12 for those at any flea market this is uh, obviously sterling. Here's a hallmark right there. It says 925 very clearly. Uh, most likely faux pearl and rhinestone. This is... Uh, hold on. It's got crystal. One of these rings she had had a... Oh, here it is. She must have took it out. It had what you would uh, call a... It's like a band. If a ring's too big on you... They stick a band in there so it'll fit so you don't lose it like if you have skinny fingers or it was a gift like say you got it from your fatter fingered grandma or something that was in the family or you just love the ring so much that you decided like it has sentimental value or something like that i don't know what this ring is made out of uh, i'm assuming it's sterling 
the stones are hey uh, you know we gotta we gotta look at this one carefully they usually if you see those those uh, ring sizes or bands whatever they call them on a ring then you can assume or you can take a wild guess that the ring could be gold so I don't see any markings anywhere and I'm kind of looking carefully I put my extra good glasses on for this so I think she'll probably want to get this tested uh, if we're lucky it's white gold but I, I really don't know you know look at the way the stones are set in there you see that they don't do that with normal uh, rhinestones It'd be nice if I found a good quality piece of jewelry, but I haven't, I mean like insanely good. All right, this one is silver, and I'm not sure why she picked it up, because it's missing some stones. She probably didn't notice the missing stones and just liked it and thought she could clean it up. Uh, but it is silver, needs to be clean, whatever. Uh, I'll scrap it if I can't sell it. And uh, I guess she just liked this. This is the kind of thing that she'll probably sell for like eight to ten dollars at the flea market. Uh, um, Piddly links. Not familiar with that maker, but it does have a locket. Yeah, it has several lockets and a heart. She'll probably, unless the name is really good, a designer, she'll probably just sell it at a flea market uh, for like eight to twelve dollars. All right, that's it. That's everything I got. Oh, wait, the jacket. Same sale I got all the Japanese toys from. I got this. Um, Abercrombie and Finch jacket. I wish it fit me, but it doesn't fit around the old tum-tum. That's -tum. Abercrombie and Fitch. I could lose some weight. I am actually exercising. Not that anybody cares. Um, so maybe it'll fit me, but if it doesn't, it was $3. It's Abercrombie and Fitch. Really good uh, condition. Looks really nice. Um, I'll just give it to the kid or someone else. Anyway, uh, quick shout outs to my friends. Um, Naz. Uh, Bargain Barons, Thrift Hunter, always AJ, his foot's better, he's walking around like a normal human being. A uh, little little bit of a gimp walk, but not so bad. Daryl, video gamer Daryl, uh, Angry Steve, I still got that uh, Dreamcast for you, so whatever. When I see you, you know, we'll work that out. Uh, uh, that's everybody, and that's it. This video's already way too long, goodbye. Uh, hopefully tomorrow. I'll get lucky and find some stuff. If you want to find me this weekend, you want that ass kicking I keep promising everybody, uh, come meet me at uh, Carney. All right, bye. All right, here we go. Sale number one. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? Uh, let's see. Kitty clothes. Hello. Hello. <sighs> 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 Okay, yard sale number two. All my sales are, are local today. So I don't know if I'm gonna get anything, but we shall see. Usually I get something. Hello. Hello. 
Alright. How much is the bowl? Uh, this is what we got for 20. I'm not really going to well, show it now. Let me look at it. No, no, no. I'm not going to really show it. I'm just going to say, like, this could be good. This could be what we call a... Jelly belly. Right. And it's signed Trafari. On the back. With some other marks. Pat pen. Um, that could be a good fine. 20 bucks for all that stuff. And I'll we'll go through it later. Round two, I probably missed some of this. Or just put it over. Uh, there's like copper bracelets. I don't know. Maybe. There was a bowl I like, but it's got like a, a crack in it. I think it just will split over time. I'll show it to you, but. Oh, well, they have these. I don't know. These uh, plastic stuff. There's the, the. I know you said you like brass. Just that one? No, it's very nice. Someone who would put it somewhere and just leave it would be it would be perfect for them. Um, I just have so much stuff that like you know what I mean. I that's why I figured. That's why I said you know what I mean. <laughs> It had a beautiful decimal bowl. It had a crack in it. So that's that's just not worth it for me. I can't do. It. It's like it has problems. That's a dollar. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like the bowl inside, but 
I have so much stuff. Oh, there's a beautiful bowl inside, but it has like a crack, and I'm like, ah, oh, man. Normally, I, normally I just like video games, you know, but uh, yeah. I like to look at that bowl, so. All right. Okay, this next sale they're bragging about antiques. So let's see. It's a garage sale. Hello. Hi, good morning. Hi. How are you? Fine. Yeah, it's still morning. It's early, and I'm good. Exactly. Okay. Uh, I like video games the best, but then after that, whatever. The wife, she like kind of likes jewelry. Um, but other stuff too. Yes. This must be from um, Hawaii. It says lava on it. Yeah. Oh, it's from Iceland. How much is the perfume set? Perfume set. For three bucks, I'll take it. Um, you can just hold it over there for me. I know I'll finish looking around. Okay. Wood bear. Let's see. What happened? People are like moving stuff or Well, yeah, we already had a That sucks. People are so pathetic. Yeah. Now, you're not going to find any video games today. I know, but I like other stuff too. Um, eventually they could be coming here tomorrow. Okay. Just to let you know. I'll try and come by tomorrow, but we're probably going to go to a town wide. Okay. <laughs> um, and what about these perfumes? How much are they? Oh, yeah, the Versace is like over 100 bucks. That's why. Over 100 bucks, huh? No, no, we're not. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's, it was, it's, yeah. it's new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she asked for eight. Okay, and what's this one? Uh, Organzi? Organza? Um, like, how much for both of them? I don't know, two for... Two for fourteen? Uh sure. Yeah? Yeah, why not? Okay. Oops, sorry. Got that? And what about what about these Paris oh, yeah. lighters? What about these little lighters? Well, I don't know. I mean they come from Paris. We brought them home because we're French. Oh <laughs> I wanna <would laughs> so say ooh la la. Yeah, so we brought them. Oh, they're a dollar a dollar each. I like I like these two. Uh let's see. Yeah, you know what, I'll just take them. Here. And uh, one more. I'll give it to my, my friend. He's he's fancy. Smoker. <laughs> uh, I don't smoke anywhere, but he does. He, you know, it's I don't. He won't quit. Yeah, it's nice. Is that just dirt or is that? It's just it's fine. Seven bucks. Yeah. Do you see any jewelry you like? She likes this box. We're around the corner. China.
You need oh, help. Yeah. You need to calculate. Yeah. It was 15 plus, uh, 14 plus 3 plus six, 7. Six, so it should be 30, here, right? 30, it should be, yes, yeah. yes. Six. You got nice uh, lighters. Seven is They're 13, actually pretty cool. Yeah. 14, 14, 16, 16 and 14 is 14 plus 30. 6 is 30. 20. 30, okay. Yeah. Sounds, sounds good. Let's see if she finds anything else. I shouldn't laugh because I, I go into stores now and the kids can't give change. Yeah, I know. If it's not the on machine's the down. And, and it's like, say something is $10 and... You would think they would just use their phones. Or, Right, well, yeah, but I mean, you know, if it's 15 cents and you give them a quarter, they don't even know how to do that with yeah, dollars. Yeah, kids. Like, yeah. <laughs> I know, I always tell my son, I said, please, I said, like, think it out. No, nah, it, it's like, you need to, just in case the power ever goes down. <laughs> uh, I, I, I know, have that. Because yeah. I've, I've told him, they're, they're he's thinking 29. Of, yeah. You know, and I said, you got to write for a signature, you can't print on a check. Right. And he's like, who uses checks? He uses his debit card everywhere. And I'm like, oh my God. And we've created... They're, they're, they're actually thinking of getting rid of... Did you see this one? I, I'm... It's crushed. Okay. Um, it's a belt. Ah, belt. Now, they, um, they might be getting rid of cursive in some of the schools. I know. I can get hard. Well, because people, even when you're writing script, even when I write in script, I'm going to admit that my handwriting is terrible. Sometimes I can't even read what I wrote. Well, so yeah, me perfect, too. Oh, perfect I, I used well, to then, get smacked get on the hand. I did. Come on. I got hit with the rulers, the I bowls, know, so the punched. <laughs> I'm 54. Okay, because I'm a little older, but I was going to say, yeah, that's just a generation. We all got hit with the rulers. Yeah, the rulers. <laughs> one time, Wait, one time the teacher, uh, I was in the Bronx. One time a teacher broke a ruler on a kid's butt and he made him buy him a new ruler. Yeah. Imagine that. <laughs> the kid oh was like, God. what? I was the, flexing. The law, you know? the yeah, oh, forget it now. Oh, you can't. I mean, Church already has enough problems with lawsuits. Kind of Aztec. All right, and I think I'm, I got what I'm going to get here, so I'm just going to. Okay, this is the funny. This is the rumor sale I couldn't get into. Look, I'm knocking the door. Nobody answers, right? I already did this three times. and But I look in the window, and there's people shopping, so it makes no clue. Yeah. Oh well, let's see if I get in. It's ridiculous. I figured out how to get in. Right. In China. In guys. Bad art. Yes. I'll go look at the jewelry quick. I figured out how to get in. Let's see. Sorry. Excuse me. Fifty cents. It's kind of ridiculous. So. I got Excuse me.
A lot of fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Maybe I'm going to get this duck. Furniture. A nice looking bowl. Do I want this? It's nice and old, but it doesn't sell. I will pass. I got here late, and then hopefully I recorded it, but I couldn't get in here. I couldn't figure out where the entrance was. Oh, that one's heavy. Nope. Okay. Okay, surprise sale. Let's see. Uh, it's uh, what you call it? Ramen noodles? Yes. Is this a snack? If my wife comes, sometimes my daughter likes that. Let's see. Uh, corn? Corn. Grilled chicken flavor. Okay. That's it. that. My wife has to get that kind of and stuff. And we just dip it. Or, yeah, okay. That's it. All right. Let's see what else. Let me come around this way. I'll take the long way around. Oops. Watch the bush. <laughs> What size do you want? I am probably, I would be large at least. A few? Yeah. Um, medium. Nice jacket, but medium. Well, let me, I'll just look quick. It doesn't seem to be too much to look at with clothes. Unfortunately, this is a nice jacket, but it's only medium. Yeah. Yeah. $5? That would have been a good price. I would have bought it for sure. Too bad I'm fat. <sighs> okay. Let's see what else. I'm going to look over here. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. My wife likes jewelry sometimes, so I look for her. All right. Let's see. Big robot. How much for the robot? Okay, I like the robot. Okay. Take one more look.
그거 새 거야. 안녕하세요. Hi, how are you? Is this yours? Let's see. Who's that? Helicopter. Only one Power Ranger? Maybe? <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Maybe two. Uh, okay. Uh, I found. It was over there. Okay. How much for that? Hello. How are you? Ah, dogs playing polka. <laughs> nah, my wife would kill me. Yeah. She'd be like, oh no. <laughs> the dog's pe playing poker painting. I'll call it when we get to the car. You sure you brought it? Uh, I don't believe I had it in terms of like I took it from you. We... <sighs> kind of nice, but who cares? This is the base to something. Nobody ever has the bottom to that. Oh, barn painting. Is this a Woodson? I don't know who this is. Okay. There's a guy who does barn paintings. Uh, here, what do you think of this? Okay. Yeah, it's the base. I mean, it, it's only four bucks. You tell me. Do you think you could use this fabric? Marie? This fabric? Okay. That was a nail. Do you want that base or no? Wait, wait a minute, you mean? Thank you. 